We know if they go back to back, back to back, back to back on a particular issue. And they will like, say, we'll talk about that. They will like, say, the government will go down here. They will seal up their ear. When they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. Friday, April 21, 2023. Happy Salah to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. Our prayer now say, as we de celebrate, now only good things go to happen to you and the members of your family. Make peace also de Obodo, Nigeria, so that everybody, body, go to do them. Muke, muke. This now I see the hot special. I'm not going to say I plaster a big smile for my face. The reason now because I say, the big man's courage, when we say they bring fire, come and see the hot. Every Friday, Friday episode, he don't come back. He get the way we say fire go come up for person body. He will go back, go recharge. Oh, I say Baba carry transformer come. And on top of us, the hot special today. Una go hear word. My name now is Ezugu Chukwuri, and this now as in the heart. Well, um, happy salah to our brothers and sisters who be Muslim out there, and them um, of course. Uh, uh, now a moment to also reflect over our life. And nowhere we will fit our jobs so that we will fit they move on. And also, also ensure, say, this country where we call our own, that is Nigeria. At least, say, uh, we could collectively ensure, say, we'll move on to that promised land we would always be crave for. My name is Marcin, my name remains Unkubi. And this is As Ide Hot. Our Ogoga visitor, like we talk, and a person will be say, every time when he joins us on top of the show, wisdom they plenty. Mm. As Baba go, go rest. Don't come back. We we'll go first call her and shake, because mm. this handshake, if they carry blessing, come. Ayo, at Alafia. Baba, welcome back to Asiri Hot Special. Hey, I'm not tell you that I go rest. I go, I go on spiritual journey on top of the mountain. Hey. Mm. Ah, Baba, no verse. Baba saying go on top of mountain. I see don't come down from mountain like this now. Plenty action. Go they won't waste time. No could just go yeah, to the matter. Yeah. They drop the Tony one after the other. And Baba go they use wisdom. They help us, they break them down. Hey, you go good make I talk and maybe we understand. Say don't be just because of say in Sidon here. The reason why in the Sidon for here, and maybe the person where we say, if they wear that agada of wisdom. Now because of the plenty years of experience where we say saying get for new story work. For writing, you know, for talking, you know, in the person where we say he don't spend nearly 40 years for this particular business. So, so all of us on Fridays, we they learn, and most importantly, as we they learn, you go use that thing to contribute to make this our country better. We will go straight into our first discussion. This discussion, that discussion where we say it don't make plenty of people here stand up inside of Bodo, Nigeria. The gist will come out this week now say the FEC. Senior joint body of all the people where they uh, run things for inside government, for inside this country, they be do meeting. They do meeting every Wednesday. For that meeting, what they do every Wednesday, or got president based on say in travel, in not there around. So as our law take talk, the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, now he sit down there as the organizer of that meeting, what they do. For inside that meeting, they discuss plenty of things. When concern our great country, Nigeria, they can't take one action where people talk, say yes. Now, only for this level, then they take the action. What will be that action? That action is to award contracts. What will be contract? Contracts now uh, work where we say you they give person. Say, okay, oh, you they qualified. We believe say so you go do the work. Whether not to build hospital, whether not to buy uh, things put inside the hospital, whether not to build road, oh, now contracts, people when they qualify, then they give. Now, according to the news, we come at the top, say for that particular meeting, so the Federal Executive Council give approval. Uh, to people where we say they go do contract and this contract where they calculate all the money finish now over a hundred billion naira but some people gonna talk say wait oh if we calculate the time when we say president Muhammadu Buhari government go finish now may 29 if you check out from that day now like 40 days why he be say with 40 days to go you they give contract why you don't wait for the new person to enter then the person say hey oh see the thing when we want to make these people do oh uh, but because of say, we won't make you enter, make you do it because you get at least four years, take control. Why then they rush out? So people come and talk, say, hmm, this rush, it be like say monkey hand there inside them, oh, not be me go talk. But Uncle Jedi go help us break them down. Because now some of these things, they make them be like say, people know they trust government. Our government go do contract when everybody's supposed to be happy, say they do have. But some people, they use bombastic side eye, they look government. Uncle Jedi, over to you. Um, first of all, me, I don't talk on before. I find it strange that is the Federal Executive Council that Naingo they approve contracts. Mm. The Federal Executive Council, to the best of my knowledge, is set up to direct policy of government. Mm. 
Okay, and so all these announcements at the end of every meeting, Federal Executive Council, they approve this and that. You already have a budget. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. You have a budget that needs to be followed. What you should do is that you should have a first-class procurement agency a procurement that handles all these things in line with the approved budget. Where you, I don't know, you know, why we have a system whereby that the ministers will come again, they approve a uh, uh, budget, but they do FEC meeting. FEC meeting is not even necessary. Every, what you should do is you should have, the meeting should not be a sacrosanct day. I would say, now every day, we, we, we are too ceremonial mm. in the things that we are doing, and governance has gone beyond that. Once you have had the budget that has been approved, in, in essence, meetings should, should be as at when important issues come about. Leaving all that, okay. let's get to the moral side. The moral side, we say, the moment you had a president-elect, what my common sense tells me, the moment you have a president-elect, government begins to slow down and okay. wind up. Mm. You do not want to lay waiting or impose the call booby trap mm. for the next Governments. government. Do you understand? Once mm -hmm. you have a president-elect, common sense should tell you that everything slowed down, let's begin to wind up. We don't know how, the, whether the new government that is going to be there in the minimum for four years, in the maximum for eight years, whether this will even fall in line with their thinking. Mm. Because at state level, what you sometimes have is that as soon as the new governor comes in, the first way you go do is to cancel or what. And that yes. is a bit untidy. Nigerians have a history of being in panic mode when they are about to leave. Mm. I thought that was restricted to state government. I don't know, say, that kind of fever can't they catch them for federal level. Mm. Oh, you and I know what they happen. You know, when we talk about contracts, it's only in Nigeria repeatedly. This cop will be <laughs> 120 naira mm. through a supply chain can become 1,200. Mm -hmm. Chai. It's only in Nigeria. So there is always that fever about contract, 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 contract. Mm. I would like to ask if this contract, for example, if there was any notes to the president-elect to say that, are you comfortable with us if we award this? Will you be able to accommodate it? Don't forget, between now and then, when then I give the contract, mm. ordinarily, it's supposed to take another, maybe one or two months mm. before, but don't, I won't be surprised if this contract is approved and mobilized before May 29. On Kujedi, no verso. Yes. Um, uh, uh, Baba Tunde Raji Fashola will be Minister for Works. He yes. did a smile when he come out from that meeting. He said them then present four items. And out of that four items, because the FECC said it is very, very important, they give express approval. Mm. Some Nigerian stocks say, yes, it's good. Because it shows a... The resources when when we get when we are the control when are the user well but on Kujedi what will be that thing when they make this trust no day because if somebody like Fashola when we people when we person when we say people talk say na man of integrity na man when they trust if we say good morning na good morning if we say happy Christmas na happy Christmas why people still they get double mind she na say because government sometimes they know they deal transparent. Or people not just trust government. I don't know. Because even in another part of the world, people go begin to jubilate, say, yes, they are working. But our own, the first thing when plenty of people mind, they go and say, ah, mm. with 40 days to go, mm. this billion, billion, hmm. What did they cause that in Ukraine? Uh, but but when you should know that when you are in public office, you need to do the things that would, first of all, our leaders have made it such that you doubt the integrity of almost all of our leaders. Mm. Right? That is the Nigeria we are living in today. And that is because in a lot of times you can see those in powers of authority living and doing things well beyond their means. Mm -hmm. You see that a lot. So to beat that perception is why you must do things in a manner that will not raise suspicion. I cannot, it's not my job to come and sit here and vote for anybody mm -hmm. because I've been taken by surprise by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I'm not indicting anybody. Mm -hmm. It's also not my job to do that. But there are things 
They are what you call, you see, the distance between perception and reality is very short. Mm. Sometimes it is easy for the perception to become the reality. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when you want to do things, you have to go to that extra mile. See, as you said, Tokam, when they come out, he smile. What do you mean by when they come out, he smile? No, he if happy. He said, he, he happy. Uh, okay. Uh, so, what, what are you trying to impute no, by Jedi, saying no, that he happy? He happy. No, Uncle Jedi, what are they mean? Be say, as minister for work, he talk say the thing they make him work, they go where well. You say he happy. He smile. He, no, he smile. That is because we have the perception. Mm. Unfortunately, it is diff it, Look, a time will come in this Obodo, Nigeria. It will be difficult for people to take up public office if they want to keep that. Me as a decedent, I know if it take public office. Mm. When I start this job, they say maybe he's looking for this and that. I smile. I know the only thing I get for this world is my name. I know amount of anything. A good name is worth more than silver or gold. More than silver or gold. Man, of it. Uncle Jerry, for all this Yamaha, Yama, Uncle Jerry, Uncle Jerry, you not go verse. Mm -hmm. We go rush and tie side break. Now still the I see the hot special on Salad Day. Hey, when we go this break, come back. My brother, Uncle Jerry, go enter gear two of our story. This second story, man, I put here for grand. Oh, the story is strong. Where where? I wanna know our senior Ogbonge news story man, Uncle Jerry. Go pieces the thing down so that all of us go let. No go anywhere when they come back. Now see us in the heart. Special. Center will talk about that. The young black tell the government something will not hear. They will seal up their ear. When they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. Shall we talk about that? The young black tell the government something will not hear. They will seal up their ear. When they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. Welcome back to the program still remains as the hot and of course now the Friday edition, the special edition uh, with Uncle JD now with the run. And of course Uncle JD Day has to do. Uh, my brother is Chuku, they also day inside to do. Before we go to that particular break, I uh, will be searching our first story. And this first story gets to do with a uh, fake. That is Federal Executive Council. Or to say, ah, 40 days to when they will come up from office. They approve um, a project that is they approve um, about hundred billion for different different contracts. And if you also come and listen to what Uncle Jedi talk, Uncle Jedi just look at okay, say this kind of government, have, please, it, the normal setting is it's supposed to be say if government, a new government don't enter, say they don't elect a new government, and everybody don't know. Say this other government where they in place, suppose they reduce their power. They reduce their power so that uh, they do not carry too much responsibility, give uh, the power and the government to they come new. Uh, well, I don't hear them, but from there, we could enter into this next one. And this next one, they come from rivers. Let's go straight to rivers. And then um, the matter talks, say, hey, say the spokesperson of them, um, that is uh, the spokesperson of the Nigeria police, uh, for inside them, um, rivers or Gabuiwa, don't come and talk, say, one particular video we actually, we actually show, we actually circulate. We want some police officer be they harass some kind of people. They harass one man and they harass one woman. Uh, that particular video, Nain Ogamu Iwa caught up say, look, going by this way, the way the public don't see, said they don't go accept anything of this nature. Say this now like disgrace and embarrassment it be for the Nigerian police. And of course, because of this, so those people where they involved, those officers where they involved, say they go do it, in, say they go deal with them very, 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 very well. And according to what Ogamu Iwa talk, Ogamu Iwa talk say, look, say they go, say one, one of them, then, then they rank them. When I mean the rank, then the rank are one, they answer in Papa name for prison right now. And of course, there'll be three. And the court of say this one go also teach other police lessons. They will teach them other lessons so that they will know as they will take the respect people. And apart from this, they even cover that in for that talk. Say, look, say apart from demoting and then say they put person for prison. Say they go also make sure say they send them to other locations. They're not even there for the state again. So I made them go, they made them know as it be for that side. And I'm looking at this particular thing where Gamu Iwa talk. It will be the spokesperson of police for inside rivers. Uh, make us see how far and how well. And then, um, no, if this particular activity or this particular action will also feel make other police also learn from us. But before then, before we bring the question comments on Kujedi, we'll get one video on one play given now. Make us search that this video will relate to this matter. Then we'll go bring the question search on, on Kujedi. Will they come? I want to address Nigerians, want to address your world on our steps, taking on the case of assault, uh, undescribed conduct against some of our men, 
at uh, M Moore here in River State. Uh, on the 9th of April 2023, we recollect that a video went viral where a policeman was seen physically assaulting a member of the public. The officers in question were consequently charged for the offense of discreditable conduct to wit incivility to members of the public and assault. After the Holy Room trial, the trial found one of them, the man who was actually seen in the video with that stick, as slapping the civilian, the man on white at that point, Inspector Adejo Siaka, the JP number 3055-67, guilty of the charge, and it was he has been reduced in rank from inspector to sergeant as from this moment. Again, the only room trial actually did not find sergeant Ndiwa Peobera with force number 4795321 of the charge of assault because he never assaulted the man. But he was at the scene, he could have taken certain steps to stop or to halt such an embarrassing situation. But it was actually, he has been given or he was awarded severe reprimand for not doing the right thing. That is his own punishment. While the third man, Inspector Friday Obaka, who incidentally the driver uh, of the APC there, was not even at the scene when the event occurred. We are released three, the names of these three policemen, and we, we have the responsibility of clarifying the offenses for which they have been charged or punished one after the other. Policing at this point in time should be seen more, more accessible, more transparent, more proactive, and with good, robust, community-based policing styles. So we will not in any way condone any act of indiscipline or any inappropriate act that will soil the image of the force or will reduce or ridicule the policing institution in Nigeria. So, Provost Commander Rankin, Please do. Can still be this man. Do not do it. You don't stay small. That's all right. So thank you. You can go with him. The message is done appropriate. Then they are they have been they are they are to be posted out of River State immediately. So let the message get to the welfare department to do the posting. All of them now will now move out of moved out of River State. Whether you have been sanctioned or not, they'll be moved out of River State for this offense. That's another thing. They won't remain in that in that place. That is another thing that is missing in the verdict, but that is the judgment. Thank you. Wait, wait till they worry you. Wait till that now. Wait till they the clap. You know, see what the Nigeria police force do? Discipline. Come on. I okay. salute the Nigeria police force. Bro, sir. Keep quiet, John. We are what? Maybe we are what? No, they see. Wait your eye service. Can they do you? I'm not waiting. Well, you know, see what they do? Everybody will be going to do that. I go to that. They do eye service. They don't do your Uncle Jedi. No, no, come back to me. Let's be more focused because Chukwu is carried away. Okay. Okay. Right. Lo lo looking at um, this particular um, scenario and looking at the facts, say, look, uh, looking at what you know, we will talk. Um, a lot of this normally happen over time. We say we did see incidents with police and them um, citizens and them um, civilians rather, and we don't see how it happen. And each time where it happen, actions are taken. But this particular, I just like this one somehow 
It's different from some of the ones that we don't see, in a way. Looking at this particular action taken by um, the Nigerian police force on these officers, demoting them, transferring them for areas they say they, maybe they are not comfortable with, do you think it will go a long way in adjusting such character from the police and okay. the public? First and foremost, transferring is not punishment. Okay. As, as a military person, in fact, in any posting that you are, you can be transferred at any time, you know, mm. as, as, so it shouldn't be seen as punishment. Secondly, if you look at this video, if you look at the video that mm. you just saw, it's a representation of the confusion of the kind of policing that we do. Mm. All those people wore different uniforms. Mm. If you look at the video that you just saw now, mm. which one would you point to to say that this is the police uniform? Mm. There's the black uniform, there's the blue uniform, there's the khaki, there's the khaki uniform, mm. there's the camouflage. What mm. police is wearing cam blue camouflage for? I don't understand. Let me quickly go to camouflage. Camouflage is used in the military, green camouflage in the military, so that if you are going on operations outside town mm. to the, into the bush, mm. it will blend with the leaves. With the, yeah. What is this police ca camouflage going to blend into? How did we get to a point where police are wearing blue camouflage? You see, there is something wrong, systemically wrong, in the way this country, including the police force, is wrong. Why do you keep having these cases of indiscipline that the PRO will always come to celebrate mm. that we have done something about it? Do, do, you, do you understand what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The police force itself is not the fault of the PRO or even the IG. Mm -hmm. The police force completely needs restructuring, Within, mm. Mm. after you've restructured, you look at who can fit into, into, into modern-day policing. This is, a, this is carrying on from, the policing we are doing is carrying on from the colonial days, mm. when you go to beat the natives into submission. That's what you saw that guy do. When the police force was set up in the days of the colonialists, when Oibo people, the, the thinking behind the police is to beat the people into submission. Mm. That is why you keep having things like this. Hmm. He slapped him, he kicked him, he did all kinds of things. It is the wrong mentality in policing that we have passed from one generation to the other. Hmm. The other thing we have also done is to make it a sin to be a policeman. Hmm. If you look at where they live, mm -hmm. where they walk, mm -hmm. if you look at the average policeman from top to bottom, he mm -hmm. looks like a complete wreck. Hmm. Welfare, he said, call on welfare to, to handle his posting. Which, as welfare ever handled postings, policeman after policeman after policeman that I have interviewed will always tell you that I was posted to whatever, the money to do is nothing, nothing. You got to police station, they say, give us money to buy Biro. Mm. So which welfare are you talking about? Mm. I pity those people. I have sympathy for all these policemen because the truth is that they have been wrongly trained. Mm. In the first instance, in the very first instance, it is not everybody that can be a policeman. Mm -hmm. But we, what we are told is that during the days of Tafabalogun, there was a lot of mixture between those who are criminally minded and so on and so forth, sneaking into the police force. Mm. And when you watch the documentary of the police college way back then, yes. and when you see videos of the barracks in which they live in, yes. when you even drive past, go to Abalende barracks, the day I had something to do there, I, 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 something between wanting to vomit mm. and wanting to cry. Mm. Now he enter my body. And now there human so, beings, they live. Now there are human beings, go they live Kai. with their families. Kai. So you will continue to have this for as long as you are doing policing along the... The latest thing that the government has done again for you to know that there is nothing that is going to change. Mm. Do you know that... In practical, you have two inspector generals. Uh -uh. Let me tell you okay, what I police mean. Service Let commission. me tell you what I mean. Okay. You have an inspector general who is supposed to be in charge of the person. Then you now appoint a, an ex-inspector general as police police police. Commission. Why would you want mm. to do that? A boy be ex. -man. What you no? What you need is you don't need a policeman to head the PSC. Mm. You need somebody with managerial and corporate experience. Mm. Hmm. Is it not? Is the same government that that appointed a soldier to customs? Hmm. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's a customs boss, but he is a guy. He's, 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 a, pol he's a soldier. Mm -hmm. And since then, we are told no that, 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 you know, from, that the fortunes of the, of the customs has, at least, at the very least, you have more revenue mm -hmm. and you seem to have some level of sanity in port operations is different from customs operations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what you need, what, the, 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 the former uh, chairman of the PSC was also a retired. Uh, uh, so you are putting bad after bad, no mm -hmm. balance. Mm -hmm. What you need in that place is a visionary with good corporate experience who can restructure the police force mm. from top to bottom. He doesn't even have to be a Nigerian. Mm. Mm. I remember that the Prime Minister of, of the United Kingdom, was it the Prime Minister, yes, of the United Kingdom, had to go and get a man and a retired police person from New York. Wow. To come and rejig his own police, uh, uh, whatever. Mm. We should do. I think it was also Nelson Mandela who had a non police person as inspector general saying that the mindset of the old police cannot work in this, of mm. apartheid cannot work in this. Mm. Excuse this me, this present, uh, present, uh, yes. So I, 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 it is unfortunate that we are making these people the scapegoats. Mm. In reality, across the board, there is very little good policing. Mm. In reality, what is also sad is that at a level of the police force, you, you will be surprised at the personnel that you have there. Mm. Uh, Uncle Jedi. So, one second. Okay. At the personnel and the training, that, but politics will never let such people emerge. Mm. Uh, Uncle Jedi, make a throw in one question based on this. Mm. Okay, you, you talk, say, at least anybody where they go, they go fit hammer, sort it. No, be necessarily say the person must be a, a past member of that particular, um, this way, maybe could also serve there. But people do also talk about experience. And people would also talk, say, okay, uh, say, even if you go bring in somebody, appoint somebody, you go man a particular position, you go be somebody who understand that the system. The truth of the matter uh, is that the problem is not experience of policing. You need a new thinking. Mm. A new and it's managerial. The world is changing. Mm. It's like telling me that your minister for health must always be a doctor. No. Mm. Some of the best hospitals in the world are not even run by doctors. Mm. Mm. It's managerial. It is managerial. It's the same thing I say that you do not need a professor to be a vice chancellor of a university. Mm. Because the job of a professor has always been academic. Mm -hmm. Do research. Some of them have no administrative experience at all. Mm. See what did they happen for INEC. You bring professors to come and run INEC. How did we ever get there? Mm. A professor that has been in his office reading research on insect and mosquito or doing research on uh, archaeology and so on and so forth, you give him a big organization to run. Mm. You know, go easy. When you have retired people from multinationals, mm. you have the Christopher Collardes of this world who have managerial experience and can put a square peg in a round hole, then you can have at the next lower level professionals to run the professional whatever. But at the top, you must always be, is the president always the brightest person? Mm. Mm. No, be, not be so. Not be, well. be, be Francis, we say yeah. a president must mm. get. Mm. Yes. Mm. Uh, 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 this talk where you don't talk, eh, I believe say the Nigeria police force, they go use the lesson where you don't share now. It because... is not the police force. Mm. It is the government. Mm. 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 The police force, people in the police force themselves, their own is to salute and obey what their ogre tells them. Mm. True, true. It is for the government. We hope that the incoming president, whoever it might be, because the matter still they court, will be somebody who will be thinking and say, for example, if I'm president, the first thing I will do is to recall all these police where they run around VIPs. Private, private, private. These are the things. Nobody wants, that's why you can make posting. You say posting is a punishment. Mm. Posting is not punishment. I'm supposed to be happy as a policeman to be posted to Meduguri. I'm supposed to be happy after people who work in banks. They are posted anywhere. The bankers are happy. If any bank posts you to, to go and become branch manager in the north or in whatever, you know that you will be adequately taken care of. Mm. So that's it's not it's not it's the, 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 the government. The responsibility is for the government. Very mm. true. For the president to say, I hope that we will have a president who will do a lot of thinking and less politicking. Mm. Mm. And who will, then, who will then be saying to them, I, I, these are low-hanging fruits. If I were president, as soon as I'm signed into whatever, I'm going to be doing a whole lot of things first, from the civil service to the police force, 
to customs to whatever, looking for people with not not experience that you are thinking of, okay. not experience of bad after bad. Mm. You need a new thinking in that place. The current IG maybe has been 30 years. So what experience does he have? Mm. Uncle Jerry, this talk where you don't talk, I believe say government, they go down right and down, mm. and they go do the needful to use find solution to the problem. Maybe we enter this one. Last week, we've been discussing uh, the story of somebody where we say, if they drive a uh, moto, all this cab, they drop people for here, carry people from here. What did happen? They say they see some things inside the motor after accident. That's why they begin beating this person. Beat them until they kill them. This week, just this week again, another of these bad stories don't enter. This one for Pansia, for inside Yenegua, the Bayelsa State Capital. The person enter Keke. Keke driver say, now 150. He say, now 100. He give 100 naira. Keke say, he must collect 150. Now so fight, boss. Keke driver carry knife. Chuk, 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 chuk out for neck. And so he buy. And so they carry keke driver. Beat him, beat him, beat him. He die. They burn the keke. Come find any other keke person where they see for the area. Begin the beat them. They destroy their keke. Uncle Jedi, people don't talk about uh, jungle justice mm. and how mobs. Whether the person know what's happening, you know, no, no, it's just they pass. It's just people who they beat one person. People just say, make him go give the person slap too, so that the hand go follow for the beating. Now, serious problem. This week again, too, for Lagos, be a routine. Hmm. Be a routine and uh, commercial boss, they jam each other. Driver die, they bomb be a routine. Why he be say some people, now destroy, destroy, wound, wound, kill, kill. Now, it be their own answer to every problem. This jungle justice where we say for like the last two weeks or three weeks inside of Nigeria, we just hear different different ones from different parts. What did they cause this thing? Now say people they hungry, now say that they verse, or now say they believe say if the thing reach police, police no go do anything. So may they take the law into their hands. Mm. You are asking me a question, but you have not reflected mm. on the people that lead this country. Mm. First question. Most of your political leaders, how do they get into office? Mm. Election. Excuse me. They go vote. Are you deaf, blind, or there's something wrong with you? Sorry, sir. Why are you not living witness? Was it not in your studio here during election day? Are you telling me that the average person who sees, for example, what happened in Lagos will not have a violent disposition? Mm. You go get. Have your political leaders not shown tolerance for, 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 for this kind of behavior? Mm. That is the reality. Mm. Your leaders are not setting the right example for people to follow. Mm. This country gradually is moving towards every man for himself mm. and towards brigandage. Mm. Because even the powers that be encourage it. Mm. Prisoners is encouraged. You have somebody, for example, who is in office, court believe wants to go and serve process on the person. He will say, I will reject it. You have to go and be looking for where you will pay what you call substituted service. I'm doing something on that next week in, 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 in our sister session. Mm. Nigeria has become, and unfortunately has become, a country of anything goes. Mm. And this, is set, this example is set by those who lead us. It is called follow thy leader. Mm. The day you have a decent leadership in this country that the citizens have confidence in and shows care for its citizens, this thing will drop by about 50%. Mm. The day you have a leader who comes, he himself comes in peacefully. Do you understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It, 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 it has become a way of life to conduct election. You beat yourself into this one. Everybody could they talks, this, carry ballot boxes and that. Nobody. Tell me, of all the major actors in the last exercise that we saw, name one person that you know has been invited by the authorities, none. In a country where a commissioner of police say he no know the difference between an adult and a child. Mm. Remember the commissioner of police mm. for Kano? Kano State. He said he cannot differentiate between a citizen and a child. Where somebody issues a threat, makes good his threat, and the policeman of that state comes to say that, oh, uh, he was joking. Mm. After people have died, wounded, mm. maimed, and so on and so forth. How many of the murders have been solved? Mm. Nigeria is gradually moving to a state of anarchy. And it is easy for you now to be highlighting a BRT driver and this one. What of the ones that happen at the other levels? Mm. So now these examples where people they see... These examples that people see, mm. 
It's the example that, it's the example that people see. All the videos that surfaced during the last election, have the police done any forensic testing to determine who is who? So it is something you have to believe, you will have to live in. If you tolerate these things happening at political level and so on and so forth, it is going one day going to happen to you. Mm. And only God knows where it would come from. Uncle Jerry, you know, go verse. We need to enter break. But our people waiting for us, we're gonna hear them now. Mm. Hey. Yoruba people they talk say, eh, shinti waju ni tenyin wo sare. That one means say the horse when they front, they do digging, 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 digging. The one when they back, na in leg they look. Our leaders, which examples are they set for the Nigerian people? Sorry, I mean, one question. Before okay. you talk of our leaders, okay. you that elected your leaders, mm. what do you look out for when you elect them and follow them? Mm. It starts from there. Mm. When they begin to misbehave, what is your tolerance level? Mm. Do you ostracize them? No. You see, they call them, hey, Baba. You still call them, them, or you go say, hey, let it happen, or you say, let them go to court. Mm. And you sit back and you, you, you think you're going to sit back in the comfort zone. Uncle it's Jerry, not going to happen. Uncle Jerry, you're not going to verse. This one touch all of us inside Nigeria. Not be just the leaders. Uncle Jerry, don't talk. Her. You, where they vote for them, Uncle? You, you, yes, you, 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 Uncle B, you. Hey. you they... No, go break. Ah, take a sign, Uncle for this one. Or oh, you, you to vote. Let's for... go to break, Abel. You vote now. Let's go. Me person not even call Uncle B name again. You, Victor, Victor, you, 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 you. What do you they do? Udo Chuku, you, 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 what do they do? You, Udo Chuku, what do they do? I now know why I could get. They have planted the government, some people don't hear. They will seal up their ear. When they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. Next time we talk about that, they have planted the government, some people don't hear. They will seal up their ear. When they seal up their ear, they will go back to sleep. Nigerians, Nigerians, help me, oh. Nigerians, help me, oh. My help you say waiting, waiting. You, call, call. you start by calling him Kubi. You call uh, Victor. You call uh, Udo Chuku. All this stuff, my name. I mean Victor Ikweba. Oh. Yes, Victor Ikweba. And I know, and, and I know why Uncle Jedi tell you, say, are you all right when you, when you talk that way? It's talk. a question. No, and he knows what he meant by that. You start, are you all right? This is all right, different from Uncle Jedi. Uncle Jedi will come from a place of understanding. You know, they look like they're sick. No. Am I sick? Do I look sick to you? I know, it shall make a leave your matter for No, let me, you get problem this salad I don't want problem. I don't want Nigerians, can you see? Let, let me Peace loving man. Anyway, we could go further, and then, of course, I will enter the final of our program, and I'll be right now. We're searching our different, different stories, and we'll still enter into the next one. And then, so far, we can give now a breakdown of which we don't talk so far. We're telling about and the fact that it's Federal Executive Council, we say, uh, 40 days into when they will come out, uh, uh, they don't approve about um, 100 billion contracts. And what did I award? Say, okay, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go work here. I'm gonna go work there. If you call the question, say, at this point in time, why? How? When you have 40 days, why are you approving 100 billion? And from that, I'm gonna tell them about them. The three police people were then they rank. When we say, for River State, they catch you, they say, they be the assault one man and one woman. They call look that the spokesperson of the police for this area, so come you walk and talk, say, look, these people not going to follow them play. We go, they rank them. Do I go enter cell, go enter cell, answer my money for some time. And at the end, we go also transfer them, go different, different other states. And they will also tell them about the way they have people inside them by, yes, sir. Oh, this one also touch hard. And when we say, one tricycle man, uh, if they get quarter with a uh, passenger, want to say money, the money no complete, it complete, it no complete, it complete. Out of nowhere, the tricycle guy just bring out knife, stab him um, in passenger. Uh, people come back, come say, how, what is this? Before you know it, they have to catch the tricycle man. Also beat and beat until he himself pie because your first one that also pie. They will call the and say, ah, she, it don't reach this level. I also tell him about um, the BRT matter as well, where we say, BRT, we hit uh, one particular bus. The driver of that particular bus, we hit pie. And the people out of verse come born the BRT. These are the four stories. These are the stories all done searching now so far. Make we also enter into this next one we will we, we'll get. And this is what they come from Kaduna State. And then as it be, they talk say no fewer than 1,266 persons. Now you don't pie for inside them. Um, Kaduna State, eh? and this is as a result of bandit attacks and heads um, and terrorist um, attacks, and them um, also communal um, clashes. They also, they also there among the court talk say out of the total figure of um, 1,552, uh, uh, say where they keep for inside 2022. Say for so far for this quarter of this year, say 214 nine don't pay, 
and the cost the number of injured persons, they are about 116. And they say about 4,973 persons now they are kidnapped uh, in the last 15 months. And they would be the person they come and talk this thing. Now, um, they, of course, now the Commissioner of Internal and, and Security and Home Affairs, August Samuel Anwar, now come out, give these details breakdown of how Kaduna insecurity level be and waiting and waiting don't happen there, given the ratio and the statistics of people where don't fight, people where they kidnap, and people where wound. Now be that. Now be that. As in, uh, it did disturb no in doubt. 15 months. Um, uh, for one state. As in, uh, and been, a banditry caused this one. Banditry and terrorism, according to what If we go by this number, this one means hey, at least, at least 750 people, mm. they die every month in the last 15 months. For inside that state and a banditry. Nobody will say sickness, so banditry. Hmm. Hey. Anyway, um, uh, 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 JD, Uncle JD, rather, you, you don't see and the matter we will present. And then um, hmm. the issue of insecurity will not be something we don't need to talk from today. Hmm. We don't need to talk long, long before now. And then, um, hmm. of course, we're not going to also take away the fact that Kaduna, na volatile area as well, we say it did normally happen. Going by these statistics, we don't see where they don't present. And going by the fact that it's the disturbing um, statistics. And uh, we can also get an outgoing governor where we say, of course, once you come out, a new person will come take up the responsibility. Mm -hmm. where, you, where you go expect this particular person to pick up from? Looking at how hostile the situation is right now. Well, I would rather, if you had asked me, say, nationwide, mm. with all the new people coming in, mm. where I expect them to pick up from, they themselves have laid the foundation for an increase. Mm. Ah. It's simple logic. All the people you have been using as thugs and this and that and so on and so forth, in some cases, some of them aren't and so on. What are you going to provide for them? Are you going to be giving them money every month from your defense budget, from your security vote, which is the money that you rely on where you go first work first? Hmm. You see, we, are, we, are, we have been moving in a spiral. Apart from societal conditions, increased unemployment, hard life, and so on and so forth. The one way our politicians, they cause as politicians, they in plenty pass. Mm. Guy. Okay, let's look at our own immediate environment here. All those boys that were going on the rampage that you saw mm. eh, during the elections that you showed on your TV. Yes. So, who is going to be feeding them? Who is going to be giving them the kind of where politicians they give them before? That's a very important so question. So, we, we have not had an all-encompassing approach to security. Mm. And the one way we they cause Naim, but with the people in, 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 the people in power they cause Naim more pass. Mm. Don't forget that the origins of these so-called bandits and so on and so forth were from, originally, they were traced to some politicians. Mm. Don't forget that. Mm. Don't forget the history of these people. Now, it's not going to be restricted to their area. For anywhere you found increased thuggery, violence, and whatever, you are going to have increased security problems. Hmm. Because again, even now, times are so hard, even the people where they work, they never chop well. Talk less of the people where they do legitimate work. Hmm. So until we have an all-encompassing, and also don't forget, the money where then they vote Kai. to take counter these things, half of it we know, you and I have an idea of where it is true. Go. And this thing are billions upon billions. Billions upon Security billions. Security vote. Yes. The, 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 the operations to a large extent itself don't become racket. Even if you don't believe anyone, it's evident by the number of generals that we have seen that mm. have been indicted. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even if we don't see any other ones, and it's the number of the ones generals who have been charged for this and for that, for Air Force, mm. for this... It is enough to tell you that there is more than meets the eye. Uncle Jedi, no vessel. If it be like say the reason why he, the new story people focus on Kaduna now, how significant that's how important Kaduna is. Is there any place that is not significant? No, Uncle Jedi, no vessel. If I land with my question, you go understand me. Every state of Nigeria they are important. And everywhere where Nigerians they they're supposed to protect them. But Uncle Jedi, if you look at Kaduna, Basically, the Ogonge uh, arrangement of our security architecture. Now, Kaduna, Ide, Nigeria Defense Academy, Ide Kaduna. We get 
if, if mosquitoes not even supposed to bite person for Kaduna, if we go by the presence of our security people, don't for that go place. too far. This thing is prevalent in the north because of the level of poverty in that place. Hey. Hey. You cannot compare the opportunities you have in Lagos or, the, the, or in a place like Kaduna to what you will have in Lagos. That is the only thing that is shielding us. Hey. And if you look, if you look at that northern axis across all the countries, a Greek and all these things, if you look at all these things in total, and if you look at insurrections in other areas, very soon now, you have start having people running from Sudan. Hey! Do you understand? From mm. Sudan, all those areas, that, all that area is troubled for a Greek reasons, for security reasons, some were soldiers that they use in uh, Libya and so on and so forth. And indeed, a lot of them are relics of those that you use for politics. We like like some people said, why did you not have some of these, a lot of these attacks when politics was going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who, who occupied them? Hey, mm -hmm. this political nonsense democracy where we they run, we need to do a rethink about how we are running it, and, and, and maybe we need to go and start all over because it's obviously it's coming at a heavy price. Mm -hmm. Then go chop government money inside. Security problems, NAMI, whether you like it or not, NAMI, violence, you saw what happened in all these things cumulatively. I could to produce security problems. UED. <coughs> uh, uh, sorry, Uncle JD. Yes. He, he could say you they always they show up every Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if nobody say because of misunderstanding, I will talk say Uncle JD now now because of all this wisdom of Uncle JD they give now, why would they call him goat? <laughs> but the now Go, you know, say, you know, say, you know, senior man, making notice in an insult, greatest of all time. Hmm. Now, why they, why would they say, Messi na goat, Ronaldo na goat, not be man, greatest of, we could not listen to how Uncle JD from, when we start the show, they talk about the contract. So when we talk about uh, uh, the uh, jungle justice, when we like say, you don't call the popular, even this one, we call some people, they die anyhow. Just Kaduna alone, 1,366. See, I see they break the thing down. I beg our people in there for house. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, from 7 o'clock to reach 8 o'clock, now they open shop on top of us in the hut. This show now, now show. Yes, you where you day house. Yes, Papa Ngozi. Yes, Baba Wasiu. Yes, Mama Nkiru. This show now, your show. And now, because of you, we carry person where Sabi, where, where. If we go notice that, so, Uncle Jerry, you know, they answer the question like, saying, now this If they answer them, they put solution. If they answer them, they put solution. That's what all of us go learn. Mm -hmm. So that tomorrow, nobody go come and tell us, say, eh, Nigeria problem, no get solution. Now lie, it gets solution. We must do the right things. I say, people, we must they put body for our country. Everything we concern government, put in the right people. I go cry, I go cry for Nigerian people, oh. I go cry for this country they because they what did they happen? What did they worry you? If they pay this me is now. that high service why they talk. It's on the show now, yeah. High service they do. If they pay Uncle me Jedi, now. Uncle Jedi, what you say, they pass. No, 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 even cry, cry. You can't oh, Uncle Jedi, go cry. Uncle Jedi don't see so many things. I go cry. And I mean, I see young. You know the human being be? You, 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 you don't see me so many things. You don't no, cry. Don't service, don't you don't cry for past. You cry no, no, for 1993. Allow me cry for 2023. With your thick voice, will you stop it? Stop embarrassing people like us here. Ah, what's that? Sorry, Uncle Jedi. Thank you very much, Senator. Uh, right, May God continue to bless you with wisdom, right. knowledge, and understanding. Amen. To continue to teach us, the young one and the elderly ones, so that we can move this our country forward. Our people went there for our house. Nigeria and our country no go spoil. Make we join our hands together to move this our country to the permanent site. Until we come back again on Monday, we go see the public holiday. Mm. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy sumo sumo lo. Enjoy sumo sumo because money they bye finish. Bye. Money they finish. <laughs> money they finish. Oh, enjoy sumo sumo. Jody, thank you very much.